Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. We've got an exciting episode today. I'm going to give myself a bit of a challenge and I really hope I can pull it off. <laughs> Now, if you wanted to join my Facebook group, you would be posed with two questions. What do you like to create and what do you struggle with? Very simple. I just like to know that you're a human. <laughs> and what I have found is a lot of people struggle with time. Time for their creativity, the time that it takes to make the project, or just feeling like they don't have enough time to create art. So today the challenge is how to create effective, beautiful and dynamic pieces of art really fast. If you've been following my 100 days of collage and you know what the list is, then after the floral week comes the time week. So today for the time prompt theme, I'm going to make collage in hmm, five minutes, maybe, <laughs> maybe 10. <laughs> We're going to make it fast, we're going to make quick decisions and I'm going to give you five tips of how you can create your art with time-saving methods. I'm really excited about this, it's going to be a lot of fun, but mm, don't time me because <laughs> I may not be able to pull it off in five minutes. So the first tip is being organised. I know sometimes people say artists are so messy and there's stuff everywhere and that can be true but we still need to be organized. It's one of the key time saving methods when you're creating. As a collage artist I have a lot of papers and a lot of bits and pieces, lots of paints and beautiful mixed media art supplies. It's absolutely fabulous but I have it very organized in my studio. I have all the paints in a place and all the inks and even all the papers. For the papers I like to color block them so I'll have them in boxes of certain colors and then smaller pieces in bags, bigger pieces in drawers and when the colors are together in the same area it's just so much quicker and easier when you're wanting to create something. So this is the box for my medium sized pieces of paper and this is my bag or my clear folder for my smaller pieces. These colors are black and white and neutral tones. Anything that's bronzy or metallic-y goes in these boxes and bigger pieces will go in the drawers. I have the same system for warm colors and for cool colors. So if I want something in blues and greens, either a small piece or a bigger piece, I know where to find it instantly. Same with the reds and beautiful purples or rich tones of orange. I know which box I'm going to find the piece that I want. Now I find being this organized means it's a lot faster when you want to create something and that saves a lot of time. So today I'm going to pull papers out of, I call it my neutral box, but it's got metallics and blacks and whites in it, more the earthy tones. And let's see if we can create collage in five minutes. <laughs> now it makes me laugh because it's a bit of a challenge to be able to do that. And I may or may not actually be able to pull it off. So I don't mind laughing at myself, it's all good. So if I pull some papers out of this box, we're going to create some collage in five to ten minutes <laughs> from all of these beautiful options. Now, all of these papers are going to work together. I've got some fabulous taperology paper. I've got some textured papers. I've got a stack of leftover jelly prints that are going to work. Some more texture paper. Of course, we've got some beautiful golds. So where do we start when we have a lovely pile of fabulous possibilities? Well, I like to start with the base. What are we going to use for our substrate? Is there something in this pile that I can use as a base or a substrate to build the collage on top of? Maybe this piece, that's pretty nice. Or maybe a piece of wallpaper, that'll work. It's nice and sturdy. Now, how many are we doing? <laughs> I think we need to do quite a few because I've got a few collages and 100 days of collage to catch up on. So let's do a few. This uh, craft paper would make a good substrate. So we could start with one of those pieces or even this piece. That's a really nice piece of watercolor paper. So 
that will be nice and sturdy let's start with one of those so we might have to push all this back a little and find the substrates that we're starting with first righto we can do this we can we can <laughs> so what about this piece that looks great that piece is going to be fabulous bit of wallpaper bit of watercolor paper and a piece of craft paper there you go that's a great start here's our three substrates this is what we're going to make our collage on now my second tip is to have a designated space i can spread out all these fabulous papers i can leave them on this table i can walk away i can come back i can make a big mess <laughs> No one's going to growl at me because this is my studio space. Now you might not have a studio space or a whole designated room for your crafting, but you'll have to carve out a little bit of space somewhere. I spent many years when my children were little having a table somewhere, even in the dining room or the lounge room or the spare room or the garage. Yeah, a lot of days in those garages. <laughs> where I had set up my art table so I could create. It's really important. Your creativity is vital to the core of who you are as a person. You have to allow yourself to create and you have to fight for that right. You know, sometimes it is a little bit of a struggle for other people around you to realize how important your creativity and your time creating really is for you. So you have to let them know. This is my space. It might be a little table. It might be the corner of of a room the only problem with using your dining room table is if you have to set it up and pack it up at the end of the day to make the dinner or for somebody else to use the space it becomes such a hassle that you're just not going to do it so you need a designated space you need somewhere that you can set up and do your art or your crafting or where you can leave your mess and not be stressed out about someone wanting to put their dinner down <laughs> I mean, why do people have to sit at the table? I don't know, man. I've had many a meal sitting on my lap <laughs> because I've taken over the dining room table. Yes, I know. Others don't seem to appreciate that, but there it is, baby. <laughs> you have to carve out some space in your home just for you to create your art because it's really important for you to have a space where you can just relax to create your art right so i'm going to pick out some papers from the pile that i just pulled out from my fabulous box uh, not thinking too much just grabbing some papers that i love and that I might want to put on my collage. Which leads me to the next point. Create what you love. <laughs> Work with the colors, the textures and patterns that really inspire you, that really light you up. It's really hard to create beautiful art with things you don't like, with colors that don't inspire you or with textures you don't prefer because it just makes it too difficult. So if you're limited for time and if you're short on space, then just create what you love. Use the colors and the textures that really inspire you the most because you'll be able to create the artwork far better and far quicker because you'll be so inspired to do so. So I'm going to choose some of these um, papers that I really love the most. I might do a black and white one. Ooh, then I'm going to do one in like the bronze tones. And then I'll do one perhaps uh, with a more mixture of some whites. Yeah, that'll work. Don't time me, but because I'm seriously going to take longer than five minutes. <laughs> what a crazy challenge to take on. Oh, what about the Nat Geo paper? This is Nat Geo paper is uh, printed. It's not the original. It's far easier to work with. Yay. So I've got quite a big piece of that. All right, I'm going to start with that. I think I'll put it on this substrate here and let's get ourselves moving. Now, if you want to print out um, a download version of the National Geographic pages that I like to dissolve, have a look on my Etsy store. That's where you'll find all my digital collage papers. They're beautiful and they're instant. So we're gonna start with that one on there. Yay, that's gonna work. What a great way to start. I love these colors, it makes me happy, and that is the best way to create collage. 
I better start gluing it down because I know you're timing me. <laughs> this one's going to start with the Nat Geo page. It's got beautiful neutral tones. I absolutely love them. I love the originals, but I actually love printing them out more because then they don't bleed everywhere and you don't have that, you know, smell of all that fabulous citrus. Now the collage doesn't have to stay this size. I may add more things onto the edge. I might change it. And the thing is, and the beauty about making collage, which I love so much, is that you can change it. It doesn't have to stay the way that you begin. You can change your mind. You can add other pieces to it. You can always paint over it. So there's no fear. Just start, just sit down at your beautiful designated space with the colors and textures that you love the most and just start. Just put some papers down like that, stick it on. What am I doing? I don't have a clue, not even slightly. And I've got paper everywhere. Oh, that's a nice piece. But you've just got to start. You've just got to allow yourself to touch the paper, to be inspired by the beautiful textures and just begin. And if you don't like it, you can change it. So what do you think? Let's just put some things on. Let's see how we go and let's see what we can create. I've got such a fabulous pile in front of me. Sometimes that's actually harder because if you've got too much to choose from, I think sometimes that's even harder than not having enough. But, you know, we'll give it a go and see how far we get with this idea. Right, now what number are we up to? <laughs> so number four, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Baby, you just do you. You may not like all the things I'm creating. I might not like all of your things. It doesn't matter. Create them anyway. Use the colours and textures that you love, that you really want to use to express yourself. You don't even have to show anybody. Maybe you put it in an art journal or maybe you just create your art or maybe you're amazing and you sell it to all of the world. It doesn't matter either way. <laughs> create the art that you really want to create because that's going to be the best artwork, the most passionate artwork, the most interesting artwork. We don't all have to be the same. So don't stress out about what everybody else is doing. Don't get stuck scrolling through Instagram going, oh man, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that. What are you doing? Get in your little designated space, pull out the papers that you love the best and just start creating. I mean, I'm making a bit of a mess here at the moment, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really is a whole lot of fun. Right, now I said I wanna make this one here black and white, so I think I will stick to that plan. Stan? <laughs> How are we going anyway? How are we looking? Oh man, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> I absolutely love black and white theme. It's simple. I think it's because I really like dramatic contrast. Yes, I know. I do like me a bit of drama. So black and white, really, you can't clash with anything. You can't get it wrong. <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. Because it's just black and white. Maybe a little bit of something else, but really you just can't get it wrong. So let's make this one black and white because bonus number, I don't know what number I'm up to actually, but bonus number, keep it simple. Don't be stressed out being all like, you know, trying to be all like tricky. Just keep it simple, especially if you're time poor then you want to keep things simple so you can create. If you make it too hard for yourself, you won't even start. You need your space, you need your area where you can feel comfortable to create. It's really important for your soul. I'm telling you, this is good therapy. <laughs> this is better than therapy. <laughs> Get some beautiful papers, make some collage, make them little like these ones. Doesn't take a whole lot of time and you don't need a huge amount of art supplies. Keep it simple, baby, keep it simple. And number five is allow yourself to return. If you've got a designated space, you've got all your, your beautiful papers or paints or whatever it is that you like to create in your little art zone, 
and you haven't got much time, do what you can when you can and then come back and do some more. That's how my friend Monica works. She was telling me the other day, she has her little setup on her table. She does a little bit. She can't spend hours and hours creating because of the demands of her life, but she can do a little bit and then come back and do a little bit more. So if you can't get it all done in one hit, then come back, revisit what you're creating and add some more to it, especially with collage, because you can have a look at it. It'll be covered. Well, mine will be covered in matte medium <laughs> and you can come back and have another look and go oh actually I just want to add that little piece or add that little piece and after a, not too much time all of a sudden your collage is looking amazing your artworks finished and you've done another fabulous original painting that's all yours so if you can't get it done in one big hit if you don't have hours to spend and you do only have 10 minutes here 10 minutes there then sit down and be in that zone for 10 minutes and create something amazing and then come back later on and finish it and do some more it's a great way to work really because you get a chance to relook at your artwork with fresh eyes every time you come back to it and you might even find pieces that you didn't know you had if you're rummaging through your scrap bag or your box that's what I tend to do <laughs> sometimes I'm making something and then the next day I'll actually just add one more piece because I found something <laughs> when I was cleaning up that happens so often <laughs> anyway how's my collage looking well, my black and white's looking pretty good. It's got quite a few layers on it. I could add some, yes, I could add some beautiful beehive circles to that page. That would look glorious. And then I have the bronze one that I was working on and this one here. So I'm going to add a few more pieces to these. Yeah, I'm going to go with the beehive paper idea. I've got this one with three and that could look really cool right there. It does go very transparent so you'll be able to see all of those glorious layers underneath i love collage when it's got lots and lots of layers because it's just so interesting that looks fabulous there i don't know if this little one actually needs too much more do we want to have like a different color for the focal point because it is all black and white we could add something what about something to do with time i've got this piece Hey, that's really nice. I've got this piece that's got the um, numbers here. It's in a bronze. It would work, but I don't want to cover up too much because I really like it. <laughs> I like all my textures. Oh, man. Maybe I'll put it on this one. Oh, okay. What about something else then? Because it kind of might need a little something. Maybe I've got another piece with some numbers on it. What about this one because I do like those numbers and I like the time theme but I don't want to cover up all my layers because I think they look really cool I really like this black and white one it just needs a little something to connect us with the time theme that's not too bad what about if we put time machine there yeah all right okay let's do that and then I think this one's pretty done. Yeah, that was only five minutes, surely. If I didn't talk so much, it would be done. <laughs> It'd be done quicker. <laughs> yep, I'm liking that. Righto. Time machine's going on right there. And maybe just a tiny smidge more of that beautiful white textured paper. Just to add a little bit of lightness to the bottom. We might even let it hang over the edge because I could put this on a different substrate and make it even bigger or wider or change the sides or really you can do anything. So endless what you could do with this kind of collage application. Yep, loving that, beautiful. Righto, I'll leave that one alone. Let's finish up the next one. What are we gonna add to this one to finish it off? And what about some of these? They look pretty nice, but where do we wanna put them? I don't know. I don't wanna to cover too much of it because I really like the layers. We could just add some texture. This is the beautiful paper that Teresa gave me and I absolutely love it. 
Man, I need to somehow get some more because I've almost used it all up. Look at the fibers. I just love the fibers in it. It's so textural. Now we need something bronze there. Need one of my bronze circles. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be in the scrap bag. Yes, we'll find one of those, easy. Maybe even some more of the numbers from that time print. Oh yeah, some of these perhaps. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. What about there? We don't wanna to cover too much up, so we might just rip it. And we could put it on there. Yeah, I'm liking that. That'll work. But I still need to find one of my bronze circles. Righto. It'll be in the scrap bag because it'll be a smaller size piece. Something like that. See, quick decisions, people. Quick decisions. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't stress out too much. You can change it later. <laughs> or even tomorrow when you come back and have another look at it. Now I know I'll find one of those bronze circles in here. Yes! <laughs> I knew I would because this is where they're going to live. In the scrap bag of the same colors as these ones. What else do I need? Oh, do I want a black one? Maybe, baby, maybe I do. Oh man, that's some pretty nice pieces. Maybe I want some more of that. Oh, maybe I want some of that. Oh, maybe some of that. Yeah, yeah, see how useful it is when you know where your pieces are that you want. I want these colors and I want these textures and I know where to find them. Oh, that's pretty nice too. Okay, we're using that as well. Loving this so much. Oh, yes, we'll have some of that. <laughs> It's just an absolute treasure trove. This could look nice. I like this piece. Oh, my bubble wrap in bronze. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, all those bits will work. But I was actually fishing for this one. So let's put this one on. And then we'll see which of the other ones we like as well. What about right there? Yep, I'm liking that plan. Right there. Want some of that on the edge. Oh, I like this one too. Oh man, where can I put it? I'll have to add it to this edge as well. I better stop looking because <laughs> I've got no more space to put things on. So I'll just stop looking in my scrap bags. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Loving it. Or do we want some of this? Oh man, that'll look good too. Yes, dramatic, I'm doing it. That little bit of book page under there has got Brave New World on it. So, you know, I was feeling it. I was feeling the courage. That's gonna look good as, it'll look better as it dries when it's not so plastered with the matte medium. And it'll dry eventually, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, that looks great. Righto, what about this one? Let's just do a few more little bits on this one and then we're done. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, what about, oh, that's pretty nice. Yes, that's a nice piece. Quick decisions, people. We're not taking any longer. We're up to three and a half minutes and we're, and we're over time. <laughs> so we're just picking it up and putting it on. Ooh, I like that. I love the bubble wrap print in the bronze, iridescent bronze, fine, it's fabulous. Maybe I want another piece of the scribbly, the scribbly notation, that could be good. Yeah, I think I do, all right. Let's rip a bit of this off. This is off on paper packaging. I know it's really expensive stuff. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm gonna put this little scribbly notation on this side. Oh man, I don't wanna cover up too much of my Nat Geo, so it might be hanging over the edge. That's okay, we're just gonna extend the substrate that it's on. And yes, I'm coming back to this beautiful piece because I love the way that this particular paper 
goes transparent as it dries. It looks fabulous. You see the underneath texture, which I love. We've got a bit of a hole right there. Do we want that one? Yeah, I think we do. Because we're not allowed to look in that scrap bag again. Otherwise, I'll come out with another 10 pieces. So let's put this on right there. See, quick decisions, people. You can do this. Easy peasy. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. How about some of this one? Look at the beautiful bronze on that. We have to have a little piece of that somewhere. What about, what about, what about? What about that way? Okay. That way like that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And do we want a little piece of this one? Yes. I think we do. I think we do. <laughs> I do think we do. I think we need a little piece of that. That is beautiful. The gossamer paper. Even the littlest bit of scrap of it looks beautiful. So we have to have it on the edge there. Now I think we should put a little piece of the black and the timepiece print. Where's the rest of it? Oh, there's a piece of it. Well, it hasn't got any numbers on it. There's a piece of it. Oh, it's got a few numbers. Okay, that's the winner. That's the winner. Let's put this one on. And then all of them have the consistent timepiece, right? Because that's our theme. Besides the fact that I'm doing it in 10 minutes. <laughs> the theme is time. So I think each one should have a piece of that time machine print. How are we going to fit that on? What about like that? Okay, like that. But I don't want to cover up my music notation. And I like those brush marks too. Oh, man. But if I do that, I'm covering up the circle. What about if I put that there and put another circle on top? Okay, we can do that. I can live with that. I can live with that. <laughs> Quick decisions. <laughs> now we're up to one minute left. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. I could put the circle back with one of my beehive circles, that could work. Or I could hunt in my scrap bag for another bronze one, but you know, I don't think I should hunt in my scrap bag because I'll end up with another 10 pieces to put on. <laughs> so we're just going to put that one there to put my circle back that I just covered. And that'll be all right. I think that's going to look great, especially once it's dried. You'll be able to see more of the um, underneath layers coming through. And we can always change it if we don't like it. Oh, I like that piece. That was just sitting over there in front of me. And yes, I'm liking that. Let's put that right there. I'm liking this piece because it connects that piece there. That's pretty nice. I do think I'm going to need something in the circle there. But other than that, I think we're looking okay. So how did I go for time? <laughs> How long did it take me to make these little collages? I don't know, <laughs> 10 minutes maybe? Anyway, it's not very long. It was quick decisions. It really was a lot of fun. So I think you should try this exercise. Give yourself a heap of papers to use. Set yourself up a designated space. Use the papers and colors that you absolutely love. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You do you. And if it doesn't work out the first time you try it or when you're sitting down to it, then come back and have another look at it and maybe add some little extra pieces to it then. At least you're creating and you're well on the way and truly it does wonders for your heart. So I'm going to let these three beautiful collages dry and then I'll see if I'm happy with them or if they need a little bit of something else. Not too hard, really. I think I'll go and have some lunch, come back and have another look. Well, the collages are all dried up and they look absolutely fabulous. Now, I thought I might add some more bits and pieces when they dried because, you know, I've got so much on the table here. I've got so many beautiful papers, but I actually didn't. I'm really happy with how they look, especially for such quick decisions. It's really easy to second guess yourself when you're working like this. You put it on and then you think, oh, do I like it? Do I not? Does it look any good? And you start doubting. So you just need to make the collage. Don't even think about it. Set yourself a time limit if that helps you. That doesn't help me. That just stresses me out. 
<laughs> but if a time limit helps you set yourself a 10 minute timer and create something and see how it looks and see how you feel about it because you can always change it or you can always add some more bits to it the next time that you have another 10 minutes to sit at your table and create something. So I really hope that this video helped you today. I hope it inspires you just to create, baby. Let's just make art. <laughs> Don't stress about it. Don't worry about the time. Just take the time that you do have and make that really valuable and productive. So I'm going to continue on now and create a few more of these collages because that's only three in my time theme. <laughs> And I'm working on seven collages for each theme. So, ah, I'm only halfway there. I'm going to continue with the video. You'll find that on Patreon. If you want to join me there and continue with me as I create more of these beautiful timepieces, collages, it's a whole lot of fun and I really do enjoy it so much. Thanks for joining me. I'll leave you with the playlist. If you've missed any of the episodes of 100 Days of Collars, you can check out the playlist. And did you see last week's beautiful jelly printing session? You need to have a look at that as well. <laughs> see you next time in the studio.